How to use Binance Leverage Tokens. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at Binance Leverage Tokens and how to use them. So now what are Binance Leverage Tokens and how do I actually go ahead and use them and what's the benefit? Now, Binance Leverage Tokens will actually allow you to leverage up your trading and take advantage of price movements in a wide range of cryptocurrencies by exaggerating the prices up to five times. And what they would be otherwise would be the normal times and you can leverage up to five times and up your profits with your leverages. And if you are trading in this format, you're also increasing the potential for losses. So that is something to take into mind as well. Now, first off, we're going to go into what these tokens really are. So first off, just go ahead and keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor. I am just someone that is making a video to help you guys out with leverage tokens make sure you do your own research prior to going ahead and purchasing binance leverage tokens so over here you're going to come on over to binance and once you head on over to binance what you're going to do is you're just going to click on derivatives over here make sure you're logged on to your account you're going to click on derivatives and then you're going to scroll down and you have tokens over here so you have leverage tokens you're going to click on leverage tokens over here and you can see you enjoy increased leverage without the risk liquidation in leverage token so you can see over here you have multiple different binance leverage tokens over here now these kinds of tokens are a derivative of their actual token so you can t see uni up and uni down a dot down dot up and these are all actual native token for these two is uh, unicorn and the native token for these two is polka dot and so on and so forth you have multiple different uh, leverage tokens that are available on binance so they take their value from the initial native token, say BTC up and BTC down, and this takes the value from Bitcoin. And let's say that if you scroll down, so you have ETH up and ETH down, the value for these will be determined by the relation that they have with their native token. Now, you can see that there are many different tokens available, and they are tracking one important thing, and that if you trade any of these tokens, uh, you do not own the underlying token. So if I bought the uni up or uni down, then I don't actually own any uni swap. I just own uni up and uni down. So if you buy some leveraged Ethereum and you cannot go and use that Ethereum leverage token to go pay fees on the Ethereum network and so on and so forth. So leverage tokens, unlike owning the underlying token, you're simply just betting on the price movements of the underlying cryptocurrency. So what you're going to do next up is the, uh, you can see the overall 24 hour change, the real leverage that is present on each of these tokens. Then you also have the potential leverage. Usually most of these have up to 4x leverage available. So let's say that we want to go ahead and start trading. So what you can do is you can trade, subscribe, or redeem. First off, if you click on trade up and down, uh, I'll trade the up token or you can choose to trade anyone. So what you're going to do is you can see over here, you can choose to buy ETH up or sell ETH up. Now you can see if you have the spot market, you can also click on market and place a market order and have a stop limit as well. And ETH up basically means you expect the price of ETH to go up. And correlating to that is that if you expect the price of ETH is going to go down, you're going to go back and trade ETH down instead. So you're going to go ahead and click on ETH down, click on trade, and then you can trade ETH down if you expect the price to go down. Now, so let's say that if you're really sure that Uniswap is going to go up, then you could trade like, and you want to put all your money in one specific setting without having to uh, leverage all of your money into liquidation as well, then you can go ahead and put it in a specific token like this. And uh, if it did go up, you would actually get more from your trade. And if the course is flip side, then you're going to lose money, but you're not going to have your entire savings liquidated or your entire funding liquidated. So you can see that there are quite a lot of tokens available and cryptocurrency like there are quite a few tokens available now you actually have bnb as well you have btc you have uh zxt down you have trx as well and the more popular the currency is the more popular the native token value is the more popular the leverage token value is going to be as well so the higher the token value of the native token that they are running on it's going to be higher for the leverage token now if we go ahead and and subscribe to a specific token so you can click on subscribe over here and then you can subscribe and take a look at the available amount so let's say you want so you want to enter maybe 
zero and then you have your subscription amount and you have the 24 hour usdt subscription amount and this will basically enable you to purchase within a small time and then you can also click on redeem over here and redeem the value of the leverage token into a actual crypto token that you might want so if you think the price of a token like bitcoin or ethereum would go up and down you would buy this down token like if you think it's going to go down the price of btc so whatever token that you are looking to purchase you you're just going to see if the native token is going to go up or down if the token is going to go down you're going to buy the down token if the token is going to go up you're going to buy the up token now with that information let's say that we expect the price of bitcoin to go down you're going to click on trade over here you're going to click on trade btc and then you can see over here now first off you have your spot trade where you can choose to purchase right away and spot trading does not mean that you're going to actually hold any bitcoin you're just betting on the price and that is something to keep in mind now after your spot trade you also can click on sell and then you have market orders so you can put in market orders and stop limits with that as well now what is the difference and how are you actually leveraging something well for example, the price of Bitcoin is enabling you to bet on an outcome for the price. And in this case, the price of Bitcoin is down and you can see shorting Bitcoin with four times the leverage. So you can go ahead and click on over here and short it with four times the amount of leverage. So you can enter that amount over here and you can expand this like so. And you can choose to sell or buy and short it later on to make a better investment. So this will basically have a simpler mechanism for you to invest now this is pretty complex in some situations where you are looking to do a lot more than just spot trading you can go ahead and do margin trading as well so you can actually go ahead and do margin trading and purchase and sell at a marginal price with higher risk of liquidation but obviously this is not native currency trading so you're not going to be actually doing a lot more complex trades so let's say we have a slash btc or any other token that you select so whatever token that you select over here is going to be able to be traded in a pretty similar fashion and funded in a pretty similar fashion and then you can later on choose to redeem it now this is something that i don't recommend for people that are looking for high gains it is a slow method and i do think it's helpful for beginners for people that want to do a slow investment and they just want to try out trading and use leverage tokens as a example for future trading but if you're actually going to use leverage tokens then i would recommend that instead you try out future trading because it's going to give you a lot more profits although it is higher risk it is also going to give you higher real-time profits now you also need to understand that the value of the underlying asset can go up or down and it can obviously go ahead and be expected to you know change the bulls so if you expected dot to go up or down then you're going to let's say if you made a wrong guess then the entire money that is present that you put in is going to be lost so you still have to account for that as well so that was it for today i hope you found this video helpful and you're now able to understand understand what leverage tokens basically mean, what the underlying tokens actually mean for leverage trading, and how to purchase and trade leverage tokens. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to check out our other videos on crypto and Binance as well. To get more information on how to get started, I do have a complete video on how to get started on Binance and how to begin trading with spot trading and the difference between spot and future trading. So make sure to check those out as well and share this video with a friend or someone you might know. And I will catch you guys in the next video.